war stories, their lure, their clear uniform, and their bravado have always fascinated me. No one does of joining the army. But I wasn't destined to become a hero. Instead, joining a totally different profession. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. I wish to begin my story by recalling the memory of my dearly beloved brother who became a warhead. He was the pride of our family. A talented boxer and cricketer, he lived life to the full, achieving 21 years what I couldn't have dreamt of. When his life was snatched away by a sniper's bullet on that fateful day of September 11, 1991, my perspective of life changed forever. <coughs> I was even angry with God for taking his life away. Though later, I reconciled myself to the belief that indeed the good die young. However, I have been devoid of any emotion since I lost my brother. I still recall the day he cried when I was about to slap him for some reason when he was in his teens. I, I have never raised my hand in anger since. I never realized my ambition of joining the army. Instead, I became a journalist, a profession that was so contradictory for me since I hated writing essays in school. Perhaps I was privileged to become a sports journalist because I also had a passion for sports. It also gave me a ringside view to watch sporting action and also mingle with the stars. It also took me places I was there when Sri Lanka achieved a maiden World Cup triumph under Arjuna Ranthunga in Lahore, Pakistan in the year 1996. But the greatest satisfaction I got as a journalist was not to see my byline day in day out in printed articles. But the proudest moment was one of the proudest moments was when my mother, while traveling a bus, overheard a conversation where they were discussing an article written by me. I come from a broken family. I'm not ashamed to say that. But I regret the fact that I used to hate my mother for going away from us when I was 15. For later on in life, I realized the true love of a mother and even fought with my father to win her rights. I never, I never realized my ambition I still miss her affection, my mother's affection. But I am fortunate to have in my 
wife. The same loving characteristics my mother displays towards me. Can you imagine being jobless when you get married? I was in 1999, having just returned from the Gulf. But fortunately again, my wife, I had a wonderful wife who for the last 15 years has stood by me through thick and thin. And I come to realize now what family means when they support you. During difficult times. However, I don't have children, but I don't regret the fact because I have been blessed with a wonderful family. Looking back at my life, even though I was not born the silver spoon, I feel the Almighty has been kind to me. I attended one of the best schools in Sri Lanka, which has a rich tradition dating back to 1885. I excel in boxing, winning many a school board title, and at junior national level. I also rose to become sports editor of the Island newspaper where I began my career before getting a break overseas in 1996. However, the death of my brother has scarred our family beyond repair with my mother passing away nine years later. He continues to be an inspiration and a real hero to our family, friends and a nation who are eternally grateful to those who take the supreme sacrifice so that mere mortals like us can enjoy the fruits of freedom. There have been good and bad memories and we have moved on after our own 9 11. As Lawrence Beans' poem for the fallen reminds us, they shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not bury them, nor do the years condemn. Thank you.